Sun's uh, Dr. Mario Bowser team. Right. I saw, I saw them play it quite a bit. Uh, but I, I think they're they're very good at that that Bowser archetype where they where Underdog does his job of like kind of staying back and, and being around uh, Sans in, in case he has to make the save and then Sans is good at getting those early stocks. And that's how you win with Bowser with Bowser and doubles and um, sometimes you just have teams that are just all out. Can we kill you at sixty six times? Uh, and that is what I think Lionheart and Bowser are, are gonna try and do uh, against KOB and the G. Uh, down KOB and the G do have Mac experience. I know the G was a long time Mac person, and uh, uh, you could convince me that Mac Pikachu isn't the best matchup in the world, so <laughs> yeah, I, I could see it. Uh, KOB definitely making quick work of Lionheart's first stock, unfortunately, dying on the right side of the stage relatively early percents. But we talked about Bowser wanting to play a somewhat grounded game mm -hmm. in doubles, regardless. So when he's teaming with a Little Mac, who's also a very grounded character, it makes for an interesting dynamic, especially versus two aerial, aerially dominant characters in Wario and Pikachu. Right. And, I mean, Bowser certainly has the means to play an air game. Like, he, all of his aerials are really, really good. Uh, forward air is just as good as any forward ease, and back air is just a, a flying death machine. So, um, yeah, I think it's just important about... I think with these guys, they just have to hurry, you know, it's, it's that, it's the duality of Little Mac and that, you know, uh, every stock in doubles is important and losing them at 30, then, you know, you're probably not winning that game. Right. They're keeping close stock counts at least even. Uh, Bowser's doing a good job holding on to the first stock and then just runs into his teammates' S-Mesh. But, it's how it be, uh-oh. How do you feel uh, yeah, about the stage? for our Bowser Little Mac team? Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, okay. I mean, obviously, obviously Little Mac doesn't have to doesn't have to chase uh, the other team down as much, um, but I know that uh, as much as, you know, the, 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 the there's no escape kind of goes both ways, especially if you, especially since FD's kind of smaller too, you don't want to actually accidentally endanger your partner. <laughs> All right, so the only Little Mac team that I am Oh. oh, he teched it. Aw, oh, that sucks. I mean, I think he was still dead, but here's what it is. Oh, farewell. Yeah, KOB with a great placement on his Thunder. Um, I was going to say, the only Little Mac team that we have in Houston that plays doubles regularly is Salt King and Magic Trumpet Man, and they play double okay. Mac. Oh, of course they do. Of course, the two, the two Houston Macs play, play doubles together. <laughs> they're, they're brothers. Oh, they're brothers? I didn't know that. Interesting. But I've heard of I've heard of them both. Uh, I know I I would imagine Salt King's Salt King's probably the best Mac in Texas, right? I I would assume so. Uh, Magic Trumpet Man's better. Oh, His Trump's brother better? is okay. way better than him. I I shouldn't say way because that sounds like I'm discrediting him. But Magic Trumpet Man is like consistent, like top four or five at playing with fires. Gotcha. Okay. I just know Salt King's a little more travel, I guess. I suppose. So. Oh, nice nice KL punch. Eh? All right, unfortunately, a little bracket update for y'all. Cloudy and Javi have requested a DQ. Oh. Rip. So, a little discouraging. We won't get to see them play here tonight, but still plenty of stacked teams, including the match we have right now. This yeah, shout Lionheart, out, shout out. like, surviving forever. Yeah, shoutouts to whoever had to play uh, Cloudy and Javi round two. Uh, Bucks and Cheek, yeah, got a nice, nice pass on the winners' quarters. <laughs> yeah, closing out that two v one, four stocks with Mac is definitely a steep hill to climb. Uh, but uh, Lionheart was holding it in there at least for a little bit. Now it'll be interesting to see the adaptation come out. That's always my favorite part of practically any set is seeing how players adapt, seeing how their gameplay changes after they drop a game. Um, momentum is is insane in Ultimate. We've talked about it several times, how stocks just evaporate. Um, so seeing players make small changes can make a huge difference and completely flip the way a series is going. Yeah. 
I agree. Usually after games, game ones like that, it, it either becomes a very competitive game two or the stopping just gets a bit worse. Uh, it looks like we've got... Uh, I imagine just stage switches here. I don't... Uh, I'm be interesting to see if uh, Lionheart, Lionheart and Bosser switch it up. Okay, yeah, I figured it was, figured it was just a stage switch. But game number two... Uh, I mean, really, it's, I feel like this team's all about center stage, uh, the Bowser Mac team. Like, the second second you get hit off stage, Bowser can't really go out and save Mac, and Mac can't go out and save Bowser. So it's very important that you kind of just hold your, hold your footing as much as possible, because otherwise, uh, Wario, both Wario and Pikachu, uh, I imagine, have a very, very easy time of making little Mac hate, hate his life for being off stage. Right. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the social media thing real quick and get the Nightbot up and running. Oh, and see, look at that. Like, he saved his jump to side B after, after the bite, but uh, that long lasting nair just bunts his little Mac out enough, just, just enough to get the stock. I mean, I think he did again. Yep. Oh, there goes the deer. So, three, the, three stocks down, 60% uh, combined on the red team. I think this is just, I mean, this is just, I think Bowser, or I think Wario Pikachu is very good. Uh, not only are they, are the GK be playing well, but this is, also seems like a very uh, anti-green team team, if I had to, if I had to say so. Yeah, definitely a difficult character matchup. And we had, we had talked about how dominant Pikachu can be off stage, but that oh. down air coming out <laughs> from Bowser. Well, it, yeah, it's important to get at least if you're gonna get a stock, at least do it you know in a in a, in a good way. Seven on his last stock. Bosser at 120 on his second. Oh, try to try to get the semi spike with the dare there. Uh, zoom into car. Give me about two seconds, and I'll help you out, man. Um, there is a chat on Smash GG when you check into a match. So you go to the the link. Uh, you can check in there. Uh, click on the bracket. I believe you click on your match and then you're able to check in. Um, you shouldn't need a friend code. In the chat for that, typically players share their arena. 